Hello everyone. In this video, I will be outlining the 30-day GRE preparation plan. This plan is for those people who have an above average proficiency and aptitude for both the English language and mathematics. However, if you have <laughs> other time available, so for example, let's say you have 45 days available, I would recommend you to spend 45 days preparing for the GRE. Before starting this plan, or in fact any other plan, please take a practice test to identify your weak points so that you can focus on them. Some good practices while preparing for GRE would be reading and listening to as much English as possible to build up your aptitude. You can, you can read the editorial section in most English Indian newspapers because they have good quality English content. You can also read English analytical nonfiction novels. You have to adhere to a regular study plan or a schedule in order to do well in the GRE. You can also start tracking your journey to see how far you have come in the GRE preparation journey. Okay, so let's get to the meat of this video, the actual preparation. So, okay, so first let's talk about the quantitative reasoning section, how you can prepare for this section. I would recommend you to practice using the 5 pound book of GRE pro practice problems by Manhattan Prep. You have to try to avoid making any silly mistakes in the exam. You have to be careful of this in your practice as well when you are preparing for the GRE. This section is comparatively easy in the GRE and people with any prior experience in mathematics will find it very comfortable. So even though the GRE will provide you with an on-screen calculator, just to check your comfort with the on-screen calculator, I would advise you to practice both with and without a calculator just to see if you find any discomfort. Okay, so here the 5 pound book of GRE practice problems, it's available on Amazon and you can order it and start preparing. Okay, so verbal reasoning. This section is a comparatively tougher section in the GRE, but in 30 days you can strengthen your skills well and perform well on the exam. You can use some vocabulary lists like Barron's 1100 word list and Kaplan's 900 word list to build up on your English vocabulary. These li lists have the word along with their meanings. However, only this much is not enough as you'll have to know the contextual meaning of these words in order to answer the questions of the sentence equivalence type. What I mean by this is you'll have to know the flavor that the word gives to a sentence when it's present in that sentence. To answer the questions of the reading comprehensions, you will have to read passages or text from a wide variety of fields. So when you read the passages in the editorial section of newspapers, you will be provided with a flavor of the wide variety of passages of you will find in the GRE. Practice tests. So you can practice from the official GRE practice tests from ETS. They are known as power prep practice test tests. You should give one each week so that you are prepared and habituated by the time you give your GRE. You might have noticed that I didn't spend any time talking about the analytical writing section and that is because the preparation for that is not as critical to your performance in GRE. A score of 4.5 out of the 6 is good enough even for the top graduate souls. You should just practice them sporadically throughout your practice plan, preparation plan. So here is a mock daily routine of someone following this plan. He or she will have to spend a minimum of 8 to 10 hours every day preparing for the GRE. The first few days can be spent familiarizing themselves with the GRE interface and the different question types. They can also accumulate the study materials in this time and give a practice test just so they can see where they stand relative to the competition. 
I would recommend you to practice and study in a quiet and calm environment. This is because the GRE will itself be eval be held in a quiet and calm environment. So you will be habituated to the environment when you finally give the GRE. Also, since the GRE is about four hours long, three hours, 45 minutes, you need to develop the habit of sitting in one place for extended periods. Thus, if you study for 12 hours each day, the 12 hours can be uh, constituted of three, four hour long sessions. If I were following the 30 day plan, here is my take on that plan. I would familiarize myself with the exam interface and I would accumulate the study materials on the first day itself. I have not spent a lot of time on this step. On the second day, the next day, I would give my first practice test and evaluate it with an in-depth analysis just to see where I stand. I would then be able to adjust the 30 day plan to suit my needs. So let us say the verbal section came out to be problematic for me. I would then ensure that I spend the majority of time each day on this section, practicing for this section, preparing for this section. I can, I can give practice tests e to each week, two practice tests each week, just so I can track my progress and be be habituated to the GRE. Okay, so that was all from my side. Best of luck. Do tell me your performance if you followed this plan. Thank you.